Okay, the next section on text similarity has to deal with uh, a specific kind of word similarity methods that are based on thesauri, such as WordNet. Let me ask you a question. Look at the four pairs of words shown here and tell me which pair exhibits the greatest similarity. Deer, elk, deer, horse, deer, mouse, or deer, hoof. I think the answer to this question should be pretty obvious if you know what elk means. And the answer is deer and elk are the most similar pair. And I want to ask you now, why do you think that they're most similar? Well, I mean, you know that they're both uh, kinds of deer, but how does uh, a natural language system know that? Well, let's see. Remember the WordNet tree, at least the segment that I showed you under ungulate? Well, where, let's see where those animals or those words appear in this tree. Deer and elk appear very close to each other. In fact, one of them is an immediate hypernym of the other one, whereas horse is pretty far. So now, if you want to define a similarity metric based on WordNet, the simplest thing that we can do is to identify the nodes where the different words appear and to count the number of links that are needed to get from one to the other. So according to this metric, uh, elk and deer are very similar because there's only one hop that separates them. The distance between deer and horse is much larger. We have to go from deer to ruminant to even toad ungulate to ungulate to toad ungulate to equine and then horse. So that's a total of six hops. So the distance from deer to horse is six and the distance from deer to elk is one. Now I need to mention here that distance and similarity are related. The greater the distance, the smaller the similarity. So there's an inverse relationship between the two. If we want uh, similarity and path length to go in the same direction, we need to put a negative sign in front of the path length. So the first version of path similarity that I'm going to introduce today is what I call version one. In that case, the similarity between word V and word W is just a negation of the path length between V and W. And for practical purposes, it turns out that it's better to take a logarithm of the path length. So version two of our similarity metric is just uh, minus the logarithm of the path length between V and W. Now there's some points with this approach. The first one is that there may not be a tree or forest representation for a specific domain, for example, the medical domain or the financial domain or any particular language. For example, out of the 7,000 languages in the world, there are WordNet type uh, databases for only a few dozen. Now, a specific word, uh, for example, a term or a proper noun may not be in any tree. It may be something that uh, is new or something that is way too specific to be included in any database. And a more interesting problem is that the hypernym edges, uh, which are also known as is a edges, because an elk is a deer, uh, those edges are not equally apart in similarity space. So sometimes uh, two words can be two hops apart or two edges apart, and they can still be relatively similar uh, uh, semantically, whereas another pair of words with the same exact distance may be actually much uh, more different than the first pair. So let's look at some more advanced versions of path similarity that use uh, WordNet type trees. Uh, the version 3 in our example was developed by Philip Resnick in the 90s and it is again based on minus the logarithm of something but this something is not the path length but it is rather the probability of observing the word that appears in the corpus that is the lowest common subsumer of the two words that we are trying to compare. So what does lowest common subsumer mean? Well, it's simply the node in the tree that is an ancestor of both nodes that we want to compare. So if we want to compare deer and horse, we have to go all the way to ungulate. And if we want to compare deer and elk, we only need to go as far up the hierarchy as deer. So the LCS for deer and horse is ungulate. The LCS for deer and elk is deer. And if you want to look at the probability of those, it should be pretty obvious that in any given corpus, the probability of ungulate will be larger than the probability of deer because ungulates are more common than deer, with deer being a special case of ungulates. So if we take the logarithm of the probability of those two uh, values, we are going to obtain the similarity that Philip Resnick defined. And there's another uh, metric uh, in this category uh, based on the so-called information content of a node. So it was developed by De Kang Lin in the late 90s. 
its uh, uh, formula is very simple. IC, or the information content of a certain concept, is minus the logarithm of the probability of that concept. And then the similarity between two words is defined as, uh, according to this formula, two times <clears throat> the logarithm of the probability of the lowest common subsumer divided by the sum of the logarithms of the probabilities of the individual words. So the example from the Kang Lin's paper shows you the similarity between hill and coast. It is uh, two times the logarithm of uh, the probability of geological formation, which is their uh, lowest common subsumer. Uh, in this case, that is uh, 0 0.00176 in the numerator. And then in the denominator, we have the logarithm of the probability of hill, so the logarithm of 0 0.00189, plus the logarithm of the probability of cost, which is uh, 0 0.40216. And then if you simplify this expression, you will see that the similarity of hill and cost is 0 0.59, where 1 is the largest possible value. Now, I want to point out that a lot of those algorithms are implemented in software, and there exist versions for pretty much any major programming language, including Java and C++, and more specifically, on this slide, I have shown you links to a Perl implementation called WordNet Similarity by Ted Peterson at the University of Minnesota Duluth and his students, and also a Python version that is part of the NLTK uh, software that we have talked about before, and I ex explicitly for this uh, slide ran NLTK to see how it computes the similarity between different pairs of words. I called the function lin similarity, which implements the decang lin similarity metric that I showed you earlier. So the lin similarity between dog and cat using the brown corpus as the knowledge base is 0 0.879. Uh, in the same uh, conditions, the similarity between dog and elephant is smaller, it's 0 0.531, and the similarity between dog and elk is even smaller, it's 0 0.475. So this concludes the section on uh, uh, methods for uh, word similarity based on thesauri. We're going to continue now with the next section on text similarity using the vector space model.